Hola, mi amigos. Um, so I just thought I'd do a little video just to update everyone on what's been going on over here in Spain. Um, I've been getting quite a few messages just asking if me and Xanthia are okay, if the family's okay. Because um, as a lot of you probably know, if you've seen on the UK news, that it's, uh, it's pretty rife over here. Um, but saying that, it's all up north. Now we're more down south, um, we're more in the state, uh, well the province of Andalusia um, in, um, in Batha which is classed as part of Granada. So um, in Batha itself there's only been um, one, one death, one man's died unfortunately um, and there's about 40 cases, about 40 confirmed cases. So all in all it's, it's really, it's, it's actually slowed down a little bit here in Spain as we heard on the news this morning. It's, it's got a little bit better, the spreads the spread slowed ever so slightly, but it's mainly um, the the majority of the cases is up in um, Madrid um, and Barcelona, Madrid especially. Oh, sorry, um, Madrid especially. It's 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 really quite rife up there. Um, a lot of cases up there. Um, but just to let you all know, me and Xanthi are perfectly safe, perfectly happy. We have everything we need. Um, as you as you've probably seen in my first video, we've got quite a lot of space here. Um, cabin fever is setting in a little bit. I mean, we haven't been out in pff, cracking on for three weeks now. Um, so I'm missing seeing people and places and faces. Um, and, and I'm, as people, well, people that know me know that I'm, I'm quite an extrovert, really. Um, I'm quite a physical person. I like bouncing off things like body language. Um, I like just walking down the street and, and smiling at someone, you know? Um, a smile goes a long way. Um, that's kind of one of my things. I'm a smiley, smiley girl. But um, all in all, here in Spain, it's um, it's all right. We're, we're doing all right. We've got what we need. Um, we've got a few things that we can get on with. Unfortunately, I can't really get on with the house at the moment because I need materials, um, which we can't get due to everything being being locked down. But the lockdown here is is fairly, um, you know, strict. Really, um, we've got nobody's allowed to, to travel in, in cars with more than you know more than one person so my dad's having to go out sort of most most days most mornings to uh, go and get supplies go and get a few bits and bobs we're not stockpiling or anything we'll just go out and get a couple of bits that we need um, top up on a few bits things like water and the bread and meat that sort of thing a few veggies um, but the panic buying has um it has it's subsided a lot here but it, it's quite good when you go into the supermarkets I mean you've got to be masked up and gloved up and stuff like that which my dad is doing and he's got alcohol in the car alcohol gel in the car um so we can rub down but when you walk in the supermarkets if you don't have gloves or anything they're, they're providing you with gloves um the wiping down your trolley with alcohol before you before you get it so so here it's the really really on the ball um so i think that's that's helping massively especially where we are um they're really strict but the um I think the uh, the lockdown was supposed to end maybe a couple of days ago, but it has been extended to the 27th of April. Um, so it's a, it's a good job we stayed really, because we were due to fly back um, on the 16th, I think it was, 16th of March. Um, but we decided not to because it was it would have been quite a risk going into Granada, into the airport, flying back. I didn't want to put myself or my daughter in that. Um, also, when we when we got back, we'd have to self isolate, which would would have been impossible because I had to be out of my flat. And uh, those again, those that know me know that um, I've had a lot of trouble there with uh, with neighbours and landlady. I've been getting messages off strangers saying that <laughs> my neighbour's been up on on ladders out the front and banging on my window, scaring my cat. So my cats had to be rehomed a little bit early, but they're fine. That you know, they're absolutely happy and healthy. So massive massive respect to Verena and her mum who took in my beautiful little Betsy girl I'm gonna get choked up um, and Sophie and Ben for taking in Fade and Fenton my little babies <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah so that's been hard to deal with because I've not been there to sort of say goodbye and um, and sort things out but I've, I've got so many such amazing friends especially Emily and Wayne have done such a fantastic job for me um, they sorted out my flat my uncle went and picked up all my stuff and got that out of there. Like I say, the cats have been taken. Um, but there was some bad news as well. Um, another thing that's really sort of hit me hard is not being able to see my mum. My stepdad passed away a couple of weeks ago, um, quite suddenly. We still don't know the cause of death, but he did have heart problems. He had a triple heart bypass years ago before he even met my mum. But he's been in mine and my daughter's life since my daughter was 11 days old. Um, 
so yeah that's 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 hit me quite hard really to be honest because i can't just go and give my mum a hug even if i did get back i wouldn't be able to go and see her uh, because of self-isolation and she's um she's recently been diagnosed with copd um asthma and she had pneumonia last year so she's quite high risk really uh, but i'm keeping in touch with her every day that's ab absolutely fine um but as it goes here in spain like i say a little bit of cabin fever um, I know like a lot you know people have it a lot worse off than me but we all deal with things in different ways don't we so you know it comes down to the whole mental health issue and stuff and I know quite a few people that do struggle with that and that they have been struggling with the lockdown um, all I can say really is the, the sooner the sooner we all comply like we are doing out here in Spain and it, it's it's not looking too good over in England I mean, I mean the less we say about Boris the better really but um, if he had not been as lax then, uh, then things won't be getting as bad over there. So the sooner people sort of comply like we are doing out here, um, then the sooner this will spread. Uh, the sooner it will stop spreading, even. Um, so yeah, same as everybody else has been saying, um, you know, stay in, stay safe, only go out for the essentials. Um, if you need to walk your dog or anything like that, walking around the block, don't go, don't go driving out, you know, because uh, that's that's making life difficult for a lot of other people that I know as well. Like so. Um, Recently, through through my good friend Amy, um, Amy Metal, give her a follow. Um, she's uh, she's a full time van lifer, um, so she lives in a van full time. And through her, I've got to know a, a few people in the community, um, in that van life community. And um, beautiful, beautiful, humble, lovely bunch of people. Um, but people going out thinking that they can just go out camping and stuff, it's 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 making it difficult for them really and it's they're ending up being penalised um, for the way that they live, they're getting moved on, which obviously isn't safe because they're all already isolated where they are. Um, but yeah, people going out and camping and stuff, it's ruining it for them. Um, but I've met some great people, um, I've had some great support off a lot of people and I've been offering support to a, to a lot of others as well. So um, Simon Viking Van Lifer, um, he's, he's great, is my Viking. Um, so yeah, he's been doing really well and he's out there with Fire Angel as well. Um, so they've buddied up and they're, they're doing alright, they've found some land that they can sit on to um, and stay for a good week or so, so they're safe. But other ones that I've got to know, um, Bry, um, Bry Manchester Van Life, he's, he's a dude. He's a real dude. He's a lovely dude, and uh, he's had it a bit a bit hard. He uh, he lost his he lost his little pupper Jesse, um, which is which is really sad. So I hope you're doing all right, Bry. Um, other people like um, drifting Dan um, with Dan's diddlies, um, some awesome awesome vintage like, little guitars. He's a, he's a he's a master luthier. So uh, yeah, go go hit hit them up. Give them a like. Give them a follow. Um, give everyone some support. Um, Dusty as well, Dusty Corpse, he's another one that's been reaching out and we've had a little chat on the evenings and he's, you know, he's a lovely guy, um, ho you know, offering support out there. So if you can reach out to people, even if it's just a quick little message just to say, hi, how you doing? You know, go for it. Um, uh, uh, something like that can go a long way with people. So it's just all about being kind, being staying humble, um, try not to panic. Um, I know in Britain it's all you know keep calm and carry on but at the moment it needs to be stay calm and stay home um, but other than that um, I don't really think there's much else to report over here uh, I'm getting on with some of my little Malone makes which you've probably all seen um, hopefully get a couple more done as you can probably see just around here we've got some pallets so I might have to pinch those and see what I can do with them so there's going to be some, some better content coming soon it's not all going to be me just rambling on um, oh, sorry, just an itchy pit. Um, so yeah, it's uh, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there with everything. Um, I am finding it hard in my in my own way. You know, I'm not able to see my friends. I'm not able to to get out and go and see faces. But you know, this is it's just what we've got to do. Um, we've got to do it for the great or good. Um, other than that. I think you've listened to me ramble on for long enough now. <laughs> Nearly 10 minutes as I can see. So I do apologize if you've made it to the end. Well done. Um, so yeah, stay kind everyone. Stay humble. Stay safe. Um, if anybody needs to reach out, if anybody needs a chat, if anybody just needs to just forget about things for a minute, I'm always here to offer some stupid dad jokes and puns and, you know, just a hi, how are you and a smile. Um, so yeah. Hit me up if you if you're feeling a bit lonely, if if you're finding it hard. Um, there's always some ears and eyes here to listen and read. Um, that's never a problem. 
Um, but I just want to say thank you to everyone out there that's that's been a good support for me, um, and that's that I know has also been a good support for everybody else as well. Um, apart from that, I shall uh, I shall leave you to it. So I hope you all stay safe, um, have as much fun as you can, take care of your families, and I will see you next time for a happier update. And I will put on some content soon of of making more stuff in. Um, hopefully inspire you all to just get a few projects done yourself and, and you know find a way to enjoy the time that you're gonna have indoors um, or out in your gardens um, whatever you're doing so yeah I will see you all soon I will see you all next time bye